Welcome to my lecture online. Here we have some interesting exercises and yes we are going to use the exterior angle theorem in some cases but we also have to remember some of the other theorems regarding lines, parallel lines, transversals, sum of angles inside triangles and so forth. So let's see if we can find the two variables x and y in each of the three examples here x and y x and y x and y what are the values for those and how do we find them all right let's go to our first example here and notice that this angle here is an exterior angle and we know that that must be equal to the sum of the two angles inside the triangle that are not adjacent to that angle so what we can say here is that using the exterior angle theorem this exterior angle is equal to the measure of the two interior angles that are not adjacent so 75 degrees is equal to 43 degrees plus y degrees and therefore we can say that if we subtract from both sides 43 we get uh, 32 degrees equals y degrees so simply subtracting 43 from both sides we get 30 degrees equals y and so we can plug in 32 degrees right there for y all right what about x well here we can see that this line is parallel to this line because of the indication here that indicates that this line is parallel to this line and here's a transversal so we can see that our alternate interior angles must be equal so therefore we can say that x sub naught or x degrees I should say is equal to 43 degrees so here are the two answers for our first problem all right now we go on to our next problem again these two lines must be parallel right here because that's the indicator and notice we have a transversal if we continue this right there and so that means that these two corresponding angles must be equal to one another which means that x degrees must equal 118 degrees there we go all right now we can go ahead and try to find y so if this is equal to 118 degrees notice that this is the exterior angle to this triangle and we and we have the two opposite angles right here so we know that from the exterior angle theorem that this angle must equal the sum of the measures of these two angles or y degrees plus 22 degrees must equal 118 degrees subtracting 22 from both sides we get y degree equal 96 degrees and there's our second answer for the second problem all right what about this one here we have to be careful because it almost looks like x degrees is a right angle but it's not indicated as a right angle so we can be sure that the only right angle we have is this one well that means that the other side must also be a right angle right there okay what about the x degrees how do we handle that well let's see let's first find the y degree I think that's easier because I see this triangle right here I know this angle I know this angle I can then find y degrees because I know the sum must add up to 180 degrees so y degrees plus 90 degrees from this right angle plus 25 degrees must add up to 180 degrees so subtracting 90 from both sides and then subtracting 25 I can see that y degrees must equal 180 minus 90 is 90 minus 25 is 65 degrees so now I know the measure for angle y or this angle right here all right what about x hmm 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 well let's see here I can see that x is the exterior angle for this triangle right here so that means the measure for x must equal the, me the sum of the measures of the other two non-adjacent angles so therefore I can say that x degrees must equal y degrees plus 20 degrees and therefore x degrees must equal 65 degrees plus 20 degrees or x degrees must equal 85 degrees and there I have the final value that I was looking for and there we go now can we see if there's a way to check that that's correct hmm 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 well it's a little tricky here so do we know this angle ah yes so there's a way to check that so I'm going to check to see if this is correct 
So what I can do is I can find the value for this angle right here. The value for that angle, again, that would be 180 minus 90 minus 20. So let's call this angle 1 right there. So the measure of angle 1 is going to be equal to 180 degrees, the sum of all three angles, minus the 20 degrees minus the 90 degrees. So that's 90 minus 20, which is equal to 70 degrees. So this angle here is 70 degrees. That means that the other angle on the other side must also be 70 degrees because they're opposite angles. So I know that this one is 70 degrees. And so I know that those three together must add up to 180 degrees. So I know that uh, 25 degrees plus x degrees plus 70 degrees add up to 100 and 80 degrees, subtract 70 from both sides, 25 degrees plus x degrees equals 110 degrees, subtract 25, I get x degree is equal to 85 degrees, and notice I end up with the exact same value, so through a secondary method I was able to make sure I did not make any mistakes, and I indeed did find the right value there, and that is how it's done.